Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm doing is cleaning out this tack room. It's been a while since I've cleaned it out. I haven't even cleaned it pretty much since winter and I know it is summer. Um, so yeah, this is how it's kind of looking. Okay, so we have this huge pile right here consignment stuff so I don't know really what to do with it um, because I can't really use it in a storage room because of our new puppy and everything so that's gonna be put away winter blankets to be put away um, organized again here um, I've got Western saddle pads what do you guys do you guys do to organize the Western saddle pads because the English saddle pads I do have a good plan for eventually um, I just don't really have any space for it so we'll see Okay, so then I've got, that's my new harness I have for Tinkerbell. I don't really know what to do with that. I'm thinking I'm going to take a feed bucket and move it out in the, like, the front here. But I'm afraid, like, if horses get to it. But I think that's what I am going to do. And look at that. Yeah, I just need to reorganize all of that. Put up some winter blankets here. And just reorganize some stuff. So things have just kind of gotten out of place um, so yeah, so first thing I want to try to tackle is like this consignment, like, area. I'm going to see if I can find something to go with that. So, enjoy and come along with me. show you how it looks okay so it's gonna be kind of what I use on a daily basis then you quick too I've got my saddle pads here my English saddle pads I'd like to hang them up like the other direction um, but I don't really have one of those places to do that and I don't really have a whole lot I do have some white ones in the trailer but I try to not keep a lot honestly <laughs> but I want to get some more and I don't have a lot of space for that then we have my stirrup leathers extra strip leathers english girths i don't know about the new trina bag i don't know what i'm gonna do there my thing to measure western saddle girths oh i need to move those are some more english saddle girths okay then up here it doesn't look organized but it is we've got like leftover like first aid big bottles of stuff and stuff i make stuff with i need to do a review of the hoof polish so i've got it here to remind me <laughs> uh bath extra bath stuff leather care stuff like rodent and ant killer stuff um then we have just extra like metal stuff and like a liquid and stuff like that that i don't really use a lot i put that up i don't know when i'm gonna use it but i have it up um then i've got some antibacterial a grooming bag <clears throat> that i haven't used yet um these are actually like horse coloring books that I send whenever a kid buys one of my horses which is fun um, I've got to do a review of this Vitaflex Recovery Lactinosi. Um, then we've got tools, extra bits and bobs of like 
uh, conchos and stuff like that. More first aid, random stuff. Here's like clean, like getting your horse clean extra stuff. I'm gonna see what I have out in my grooming stall um, and decide if I need to bring that out or not. These are all turnout blankets, but I still gotta get some more put back in here. Uh, you can definitely see a huge difference here. I've taken those away and now I have that completely open. Um, down here is uh, my Christmas stuff, like remember I go on a Christmas parade. That's a portable wheelbarrow and behind that's some saddle pads. Uh, that's actually not trash, but it kind of looks like that, but like it's, it's just saddle pads. And here is some buckets underneath that, some extra buckets. I've right now got my harness here, which I don't love. I want to figure out a better place to put a harness, so comment down below if you have a better idea. Then I have saddles that I don't actually use much, that's my mom's saddle. And then we have western saddle pads, kind of galore, that I'm kind of using up but i don't have a good idea on how to store the saddle pads in my very small tack room and compared to other people i don't really have a very small one but it is just me so halters i've got way 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 too many but those are ones you kind of like use until they break anyway so i might i won't they'll be fine to stay there until i use them up um that's an old gated saddle seat that i do if i do uh, show gated then i'll do that um, I've got some extra bridles that are already like put together. There are just some other random things, but I've actually kind of really organized it here as well as some more first aid. That's my portable first aid. This is mainly first aid, boots, and um, extra stirrups because it is good to have all these extra things for sure. I have a saddle rack right there um, that I'm trying to not use. It kind of takes up a lot of space. Then I have moved up here a, a running martingale a lunge line that I have right here um, and these are my extra lead drips so not a whole lot of extra lead drips for sure then I have Caitlin's helmet I have a thermometer there I've got some spurs I got some buddy stirrups these are my extra bits and then right here is like my extra feed and the dog food so my other feed is out in the front so I think overall Oh, and then right here, I've got extra bridle pieces and leather pieces. I've got a ton of that, so I'm not going to buy any more bridles. I'm going to make a big effort not to buy any more bridles. Okay, down there, I've got all, like, extra random stuff, like a saddle seat saver. You know, you just, like, whenever you're a horse person, you tend to have just, like, random extra stuff. Um, and then, of course, a rat box, because you got to have that for sure. But look at all this open space. Love it. See how clean I can keep it. However, if you look out here now not clean okay so now this is all going to be sold tack consignment um or it's going to i don't know if i want to try to sell it at an auction i know i won't make as much at an auction i might as well keep it till a tack consignment and then do that and i know it takes up some space and i'll probably bring it back in here but that's all tack consignment so eventually will be sold as well as those two saddles and a saddle pad those are going to be sold um so they do kind of take up some space but that's just kind of how it is um, most of this is trash um, a few things I gotta put up and then here's my my uh, winter blankets that are pretty much all clean already I just need to put them away um, this bucket has a I loved it but it has a huge hole in it so I don't know what I'm gonna do to keep it I think I'm gonna keep it but I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it so yeah so that's kind of how it's looking um, so I was going to put those last things away and then I'm done for today. So make sure you tune in next time because I'm going to show you what I'm going to tackle next time. Next time I'm going to tackle this that has gone out of control and my grooming stall area. Yikes, right? Like, so I need to probably get some sort of like some sort of organization thing. I do have organization. But I've had to put so much of it away because of the puppy. So I'm going to try to get another one of like, that's a nightstand. I'm going to see if I can get something else right there to go. I'd like to get something white that kind of looks like it, but it's hard to find a nightstand that's like super cheap. So this little puppy is destroying everything. I've had to even put up my saddles and everything. She's biting everything. So love her, but kind of having a difficult time. Just to show you, just to show you how kind of destructive she's been. This was her room. Look at this. She took all my storage room stuff down. So I'm going to have to clean this up. It looks kind of bad, mainly because she shredded some stuff, but it's really not that bad. So I'm also going to try to clean that up on about today. Probably on the next one. Um, we'll see. All right. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.